Hey everybody, Shaky here. Just coming at you today with an unboxing. I uh, spent a little bit of my stimmy money, get picked up a few things, and some beard products, some not. I thought I'd share it with y'all. First, I what I got is a order from uh, Detroit Grooming. I went in there the other night and picked up a couple, I think three soaps, and then I noticed on the clearance that are going away part of the site that they had a couple of butters. So I picked them up. They were on sale. There might still be some on there. I think they were $10. And I know one of them is a throwback that came back for them. And if I keep moving a lot, I'm trying to balance the big package right here. Got the invoice. So, what I picked up. I got Traverse City Soap. Black Soap. And I'm enjoying black right now. I actually mixed the butter with the 313 butter the other night. I like this, the scent of it. May not be for everybody, but I enjoyed it. And I got the St. John's soap. The soaps are all four ounces. Whoops. Went too high there. They're all four ounces. And I, I love using soaps from companies instead of the big the big companies that you can get in Walmart, Kroger, and all that. I like the artisans and natural soaps and stuff like that. And let's see, what else we got in here? No. Alright, that's it for that. That ain't it. I got two more in my hand. First one I'm going to show you is the Mackinac butter. These are two ounce butters. I believe they were 10. The soaps, I think, were seven a piece, $6.95. That's nice. Very light, nice scent. And looking at it, that is a apparently a Dan C collab. Oops. And I want to go one year, even though I don't own a bike. But I'm talking Sturgis. I, I want to go there. I want to hit Daytona for their bike rally and just to go experience it. Who knows? I may get me a bike one day, but. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm I'm gonna have to they come back with Sturgis I might have to pick up everything Sturgis that's nice I'm really going back on all right the next thing I'm good is not beard related what do I do with it it's something I picked up from a from Amazon. To go with something that I'm got resting on my arm, my arm resting on right now. Jay Cruz knows what my arm's resting on. I told him about the big order I had had done. And all I can say is thank goodness for afterpay on that one for payments. So. What well, this is, it comes in a nice little cloth, velvety type bag to hold everything in. 
and uh, let's see, great, they're all individually wrapped. And the reason I bought this, actually there's a couple. And uh, I like candles. As long as they're manly, you know, masculine scented. I've got three that are about done from the Captain's stash. And this bad boy came in earlier this week. The Copper John's Nightfall one. Very nice. Great scent. Can't wait to burn that one. But this is a can little candle ki uh, kit. You got your little clippers. Let's see. Got the clippers. Got the little candle snuffer. To, instead of blowing them out, I just take this and put over the top of the flame. It gone. And this is, you know, from what I saw, I don't know that I'd use this too, too much. But they show this to dip. You can dip the wick over into the uh, wax and re-wax the wick and pull it back up using this. So, Looking forward to getting those out and together. Ooh, almost lost y'all. Now this sucker's getting on my nerves, sitting like it is. Big old box. Weighs a freaking ton, it feels like. And like I said, with this one, I used Afterpay. And I'm working on my office in there, and I'll be getting a couple of desks in there, one to film on and one to hold products for unboxings and reviews and all kinds of good little stuff I got planned for y'all. Oh. And this box is from none other than the captain stash like i said i got three candles in there are right across the room from me that are just about gone and yes folks like i told jay cruz i went stupid with this one one two That one didn't go in the right place. Sorry about that. <laughs> Having to tuck them under a fat roll. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Another sticker. Oh yeah. Nine. His business card. Thank you for being a Captain's Stash customer. We sincerely appreciate your business and hope you hope you come back soon. Sincerely the Captain. After after smelling these candles here, here I'm pretty sure I'll be coming back and getting some oil, sir. Maybe a little bit of butter in the near future. But I'm gonna set this down right here next to me so I can start taking all the bubble wrap off these things, and we'll get it going. Let's see, huh? 
I've used this dang knife so much it don't want to cut. And this is just a little cheapo knife, guys. It's one of them like three, four dollar Walmart sporting goods specials up there on the counter. And the first one I'm opening is a replacement. I have it burning over there. Hemingway's humidor. I highly recommend this one. I highly recommend all three that I already own. And uh, I can burn these things for look an hour or so in the house. And uh, I can go out for the day, come back, and you can still smell it where, where I burned it earlier. This is a new one for me. This is the bourbon and sandalwood. I get the sandalwood. Hopefully that bourbon comes out when I light that sucker up. This one right here is gonna be Another new one. And all transparency, the only thing I've tried from the captain are the uh, candles. I've got so many beard products, I'm actually giving them away before they spoil. Man, Black Sea. I like that one. That was very nice. Y'all, give me just a second. Let me sit these down. Get those put down. Well, the lid came off, so I'll have to fix that in a momentarily. And the next three I'm popping off for you. I think this was one of Jay Cruz's favorites right here. I believe this is the... Yep, the Brandy Pear. I know he had a wild reaction for this one. I definitely got to go get me a whetstone. But I can get a new knife from Walmart for less than that. So. Yep, brandied pear. And y'all see the shaking. I've been asked by people in private messages, so I'll put it out there public. After they counted 10 fingers, 10 toes, and one appendage, the first thing mama, mama noticed was my hands were shaking. So I was born with it. And apparently, they told me I used to come home from school crying with people picking on me about it. Now I embrace it. And I mean, heck, I used it as my nickname. It worked great when I was playing uh, poker in the local poker scene. People thought I was bluffing because my hands were shaking. Those that knew me knew better. Oh, damn. Wow. I've never been a big fan of pear, but my house is about to smell dang good. And these candles have two functions. After you burn them and all that, you clean them out. These candles are in rocks glasses. There's your whiskey bourbon glasses right there.
top came off in the hand on that one. But good Lord, what a sin. And I didn't think I would like this, but I got a feeling this is going to be shooting to the top of the sense for me. Wow. That's that spiced honey, y'all. And I like some of the names that the captain's got on the stuff. I like that it's sea related. Some of it a little piratey. I've always been fascinated by the stories of the pirates of old. And uh, this one right here is named after one of them old pirates. The old Calico Jack. If I'm not mistaken, that's Jack Rackham. Man. Not a strong scent, but it's nice. Man, that's nice. Got three more for y'all. And this is another one. I burned this one last night, so my house is smelling pretty good. And y'all know on this channel, I do the uh, beer, beards, whiskey slash bourbon reviews. And like I said in one of the other videos this week or last week, I'm gonna be expanding it out. I'm actually gonna film here in the, probably after I'm done with this one. A little freeze-dried treat I picked up at Bass Pro Shop back in the camping section and this one I mean it's an amazing scent barrel aged out and I mean honestly if you've had any stout beard products in my favorites, honestly, are the Chesapeake ones, the Irish Blue Stout, <coughs> or excuse me, Irish Blue, which is the Blueberry Stout. Um, I think Dublin. I know Mystic Mac is the Irish Car Bomb one. Any, any type bourbon is one of my favorite scent profiles period i love it um other people i know are big into the leather and stuff like that i like the quirky and i like bourbon and you know as far as the quirky goes they're putting out some amazing scents y'all check out beard manor them two boys are doing it right and I'm kind of aggravated right now because they said they were going to drop some stuff today, which was yesterday. I checked this morning. It's still not up there. They're taking my STEMI money. But I got to make an order because uh, Lucky Panda's coming back out today or tomorrow. A couple of new new. And they're going to be doing some of the butters. Or some essets, as they call it. So... We'll be doing a review because I've been wearing a lot of uh, their stuff, testing it out. Now that I got the sweet shot oil, or potion in essence and a drunk waffle in both of them. So, and I've got a few other oils. Great products, and I'm just testing them during the day for for a while. The captain's quarters got to be. Yep, showing up. This is a complex scent, and it's so nice. So, so nice. Your, your house will smell amazing after that one. 
And it looks like we're down to our last one. And this is... Alright. You know, growing up and all that, living out in the country, you know. You, family members and all had horses and friends and with that comes tack rooms. Well, if you don't know what tack is, it's basically your saddle, your bits and all that. So a lot of leather. And right now we got the last one's going to be naked leather. Ken, Emo, or Emo, and Andrew, y'all like this one. Oh, yeah. This reminds me going on vacation up in the Smokies. I've been, we've been going there since I was a baby every year sometimes multiple times and uh walking into the leather workshops up there yeah grow my goodness so many great stuff to choose from guys this thing's at 20 going on 22 minutes i hope you enjoyed it if you did like comment subscribe if you didn't you know, and you hit that thumbs down, tell me why. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate you. Just wanted to take a little bit of time and uh, bring you another video. My internet went down for a little bit. I guess they were doing maintenance on it earlier this week, so I did not drop a Wednesday video. But my schedule coming up should be for Mondays, Wednesdays, and I believe I'm going to go with Saturdays. So I hope y'all like it. Subscribe, share, and let's get the numbers up. Y'all said y'all wanted more content. I'm bringing it to you. Hopefully you enjoy it. There will be a name change. And let me know in the comments below what you think it, which one you think it should be. Drop the review, or Beard and Billy Rogers Reviews. Or change it to Shaky's reviews. Which one of those would y'all like me to? Do? I'll leave them in. Which of those two names do y'all think I should go with? Let me know in the comments below. Again, I always support the Second Amendment. You have the same right to defend yours as they do theirs. Grab you a nice cold belly washer. God bless you. God bless America. Y'all have a great day. Deuces.